Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. It's hello. Love Infinity with Gloria Ruiz from Chanting Heart Yoga and Wellness in Odessa. So we are excited and we feel honored to be here. Oh, I'm honored to have you. And I I hope all of our listeners are honored. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. <laughs> you know, it's so beautiful because every time I connect with the word Shanti, I really desire to feel the, the meaning of it. Yeah, what's the meaning? The meaning is peace. Peace, Shanti. Peace, Shanti. So it is, and it's shanty heart, and, 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 and can we have peace in our heart? Can we allow and welcome that peace in our heart? What does it take to do that? Yes. You know? Yeah, that's a great question. Do you ever ask yourself, what does it take to have peace in my heart? Shanty, shanty. You know what, um, Sherry, I have been in this journey for 18 years. And the more I commit to my path of spending my happiness, I realize that there are three ingredients, three things that are deeply important when we choose a greater life for us. And one of them, it is Self-regulation. Um, Self-regulation. Regulation. Regulation. You have to pronounce it like me because oh, otherwise oh, that sounds the really same. Regular. So how can we regulate ourselves instead of waiting someone to tell you what's wrong with you or what you're doing wrong? And, and the beauty of this my least favorite question, by the way. What's like, wrong like, with like, you? you know, what's right with you? Yeah. Right. And, 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 that, and that's what, exactly where I'm going. Because uh, many people come, you know, with your teacher training, 200 hours and 300 hours. And, and many students come to learn who they are. They really desire who they are. And what I have found after so many years is that we do, we do not require to know who we are. We are divine spirit, completely beautiful, pure. Nothing is being touched deep within us, but who we are not. When I start learning and- So, so and, and, who and, am I not being? Yeah, no, who, what am I not doing? Or? No, who, I am not. I am not the mind. Oh, I am not. I am not the body. So, you know, it's, it's beautiful. And, and coming from that space, uh, you invited me to embrace. And let's go ahead and do that before we okay. go a little So, everyone this. out there listening, I, I love to do this before any podcast. So, you join us, please, in a little prayer. I hope we greatly invoke God, our strength, God, our divine, God, our divine, Father, our higher selves, the angels of communication, all of our all those things, all the things, all the way, it's all the way, great, great, all the way, do is all the way, do is all the way, master, master, chapter two, all of our spiritual teachers and helpers, all the divine energy, all the divine energy, all the divine communication, all the divine energy, thank you, thank you, thank you, divine connection, divine guidance, divine communication, divine healing for everyone, everyone we know. So usually I do that before we go live. <laughs> you know, there is no better time when we feel ready to do it. Yes. And I feel that this was just perfect. Yes. So going back to the idea of um, spending our happiness and how can we understand that we are pure and divine and just beautiful the way we are, is realizing. And I feel that that's the idea of transcending. Uh, is transcending our own ideas who we are because it's sometimes it's so limited and and they are pretty much um, negative 
you know, they have done studies and uh, most of what we think today, we are going to think more. And it's so repetitive. And, and what so, happens- So what you're saying that they're, they're studying that our, most of our thoughts are negative? Yes. And not only that, is that most of every day we think about the same thing. 90% of what I am, I am thinking today is what I thought yesterday. And, and the, the amazing thing is something that really got me into paying attention to what I was thinking. It says that between 80 to 90% is about, it's about us. And 80% is negative. So that the question that I started really meditating on, it might be a good way to me. You know, with which eyes I'm looking at myself. And, and we don't realize, and as I was sharing a story uh, with you before, you know, I went into this meditation and a friend of mine came out of the meditation and she's look, she was looking at me and said, oh my God, I couldn't believe how much I could yes, yes. and, and I feel that so, so, you know, I feel so much courage coming from her to be able to articulate that. Yeah, because we all have, unfortunately, we all have self-hatred. And that's why us being a whole consciousness, a whole energy together, that's why we're at war. This planet isn't unity. It's not united because of self-hatred. That's the reflection of ourselves somehow. And, and that's what I feel. So we were talking about the key thing, right? So yeah. we, we said that one is self-regulation. And then this one is self-love. You know, there is no way that we can regulate our thinking, even our breath, if we are not applying self-love, you know, to, to embrace who we feel we are at any certain moment that we can really hug ourselves and feel our feelings. You know, uh, I, I had a client uh, a week ago and we were talking about feelings. And sometimes when I ask people, do you allow yourself to experience your feelings? And people say, yeah, I, I always yeah. say what I feel and I, I, I yell and <laughs> I get excited. or And, and that in reality, not yeah. feelings, can you stay with them instead of bursting or channel them out? Can you stay and feel anger? Because it's not bad, it's not good. What no reason doesn't be better to do that is can you stay in that space, love it, and transform it into love? So that's really good. And it's Great that you're bringing that up because I did my yoga training with Gloria years ago and I was going through a really hard time during my training. And um, I'm, I was, I was, one, yes, and I'm honored to have you time with me. Any good time. Um, through that time, I'm one of those people in the past that was confused by that because I was so into positive thinking your thoughts create your reality, and that's all true. So I was shoving down my true feelings, though, of what I was going through in my life. And I feel like you helped inspire me a bit because I was afraid to talk about what I was going through because I didn't want to create more of it. And I thought that I was between complaining if I would talk about what was really happening in my life and not acknowledging. And what I learned was it's way, it's not great for you at all. And it hurts you more and it causes disease and sickness. The body more, right. When you when you do that and you pile it in and you don't feel it. So I learned and I'm still learning and practicing this that excuse me, when I have an anger feeling or or something coming up. I actually feel it in my body and say, okay, where is this anger coming from in my body? Where is this nervousness or this anxiety coming from? Where do I feel it in my body? Or whatever the emotion is or the feeling is. 
And, and when you do that, it's so powerful because you move the energy, you change it by acknowledging it and feeling it. And then it's not shoved down and going to turn into something else later, right? The moment we bow to whatever we feel, it loses its power. It does. You're surrendered. I, I, just, I just got goosebumps. The God bumps. I call, I I call them the God bumps. <laughs> yes, I just felt all this in my heart because it's definitely in it. As we we embrace it in it, it loses its power, and that's when it becomes something else. And and we can keep loving it and see the intensity because you know every feeling that we have has an energy field, and it, and it has its own vibration. Is it a vibration that is feeding thyself, or is it a vibration that is creating like a numbness or anger? or fear, whatever it creates, and we can, you know, there's not so much to do, it is allowing ourselves to do it, and, and, and honor it. So I learned from my friend that day, and, and I started really looking into, if I say something about me inside of me, I, I got my mantra, I'm clever, you know, I love you, and looking at in the I love you. I'm here for you. You know, um, many, many years ago, ago when I started this journey, I remember a story about uh, we did a meditation where we went to heal our inner child. And I remember the person that was guiding the meditation, she asked us to imagine a three-year-old girl crying in the living room. And you would pass by and, and you would not even look at her, ignore her. And she goes, That's you. Uh-huh. That's you crying in the middle of the living room and no one is paying attention. So now I know that when my little girl is crying, I hear a hug. I hug her. I, I know and I know I'm supported and loved and supplied and guided at all times. That's my highest choice. You know, that's what this morning I was telling you about the free will. What's the free will? You know, we, we talk about it. And we believe it's do whatever you want. And no, it's not it. it. Because when we do whatever we want, that comes from our unconscious mind. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, yeah. Words take deep diving. Okay, yeah. let's do that. It's fine. Yeah. So, everyone listening, what does free will mean? You. We want to hear what it means to you. Yeah, definitely. And it's pretty interesting because the first one who desires to answer this question is the ego. Because we feel that it's about power, right? And, and, and when that power is not balanced in our first and second and third chakra, because they're feeding each other from the root chakra, from the Muladhara chakra, and from Swadish Kana chakra. And when it comes here to the center of Manipura, which is our power, if it's not center, it's the ego answering this question. And what happens is that we believe we use our, our free will in the subconscious mind. So we're just choosing the same thing over and over again. And then we wonder, I wonder why I ended up in the same relationships. Why do I end up being the person helping everyone? Or why do I end up being the victim or something or, or someone? So the, the, the free will comes from here in the moment that I can make my choice totally conscious and in, in accordance, you know, I call it Coherence, you know, we talk about coherence, having the coherence between what we're thinking and what we're feeling. But that only happens in full awareness. Because when we are using free will out of our unconscious mind, we're just making the same choice over and over and over. And the result is the same. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes perfect sense. <laughs> Does that make sense to you guys? Yeah. Do you understand? Oh, we'd love to hear your thoughts on that. And um, go into more when you said 
about the mind when you're thinking and feeling at the same time. Let me, let me finish the third one. Right. Okay. Because third, I want to finish third the third one. one. So the first, first one, one is one self, self regulation. Self regulation. Uh -huh. And the second one is self love. Self -love. And, and the, the third, third one, third one is discipline. Discipline. Self discipline. Yeah. And, and that's, the, no. that's the one that <laughs> is challenging much more than the other two. Because without self discipline, consciousness is not there. We just scatter everywhere. We become, you know, this bubbly person making choices out of no choices. Like you, you, you find yourself in the same spaces and you wonder why. And that's totally okay. You know, we had to see those patterns and realize that choice is amazing. However, choice has to be done in your consciousness in the moment. So I call discipline finding um, ways to increase your consciousness. I call it moving meditation. I, I don't call it. I know it's, it's moving meditation. I don't call it. It's, it's yeah. moving meditation. Can I be in presence? You know, like I'm talking to you right that. now. I'm talking to I everyone there. And, and if I'm if I'm listening to myself yes. and I am feeling my words, because I'm not just okay. I, I am feeling this here. I am listening not to my subconscious mind. I am really in part in my mind of this. And that place basically. Because we we are habitual. You know, we time no, we time no, we have the biggest tendency to do everything the same way. When we talk, we turn towards the left or the right, we get out of bed, go check the phone, <laughs> take the coffee. Like I give so much power to a cup of coffee in the morning. Like I, a lot of my clients said, oh, no, 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 no. Don't take my coffee away <laughs> because that's my energy. And I'm like, wow, how can we give so much power to a cup of coffee? But we do. You know, yeah. it's just the mm -hmm. habit of doing the same thing over and over. So my three points are about uh, so enhancing our behavior. So okay. how we can yeah. enhance it and put it in front when we have to make a decision instead of just making the same decision over and over again. Okay, so on that, like, <laughs> I would, like, let's share tips on the first one, self, self, self regulation, self regulation, self love, and self discipline, mm -hmm. and tips, and and all of those are a great will for your free will, a great way to have free will and choices. Mm -hmm. So let's give tips on each of those three points to help people and help ourselves and help. Because I believe whatever we're talking about is a message that we need to hear too. Oh yeah, <laughs> totally. So I love the idea of sharing from the space of my own experience. So when I started in this journey, um, I was really, really depressed. And I remember um, thinking about being disciplined. In, I really decided to change my life in so many ways. However, I felt that I was like making the same choices based on what I was thinking. So I would say that self-regulation begins in the mind. Because if our mind is telling us something that is not adding, you know, like, um, there is a word that I love in English is called justice. Add, adding justice and just adding justice because just is fair, right? Yes, be fair, see, and add so justice for me is adding justice into whatever I do. Does that make sense? Yes. Like, yes. can I add justice to my own self when I'm thinking, when I'm, when I'm talking? And the only way, and, and, I, and I have to say, the way to, to, to do that, we have to slow down. We had to find perhaps 
and new place. And, and, and it's beautiful because for me, it was the most beautiful thing. Like, for me too, just, just just slowing just down. Just is... slow. oh, I used to talk like this when I was a And when I started learning English, that was even more difficult because now I'm learning a second language and I require to slow down in the equation in the right? Uh, so I would say the first thing, find a way to slow down and I would say breathing techniques are amazing. And we can do one together, yeah. we can think like that. It's, it's very simple. And the reason why is because oxygen is the one, is, is the food for the mind. And if we give it useful quality, the mind will be what it does best, which is regulate the immune balance. Like I really stimulating our parasympathetic nervous system, finding that ease within, because the ease is not out. <laughs> they they want to breathe right now. They cannot tackle a good, conscious, and loving breath. Really, is a really good way to regulate. So that's what I call it self regulation. It's not um, managing anything outside of you. It's a, that self management. And if we can, and, and it's like we educate ourselves. How are we managing? Um, there is something that I've been talking in, in, in my courses, and it's uh, leaking energy. You know, leaking energy. Leaking. Yeah, it's like you have a beautiful house, but you have a leak on yeah. the roof. No, and every time you know, it's beautiful, and every time it rains, it brings water into your house, and that happens to us. Like that, we really, from our heart, we feel we're making the choices, and then we lose consciousness of the moment, and we make the same choice when we think of a mistake. But it's not a mistake. We're just making that the same choice and bringing ourselves into the same. We ended up in the same place. So the only way to close the roof, <laughs> make sure you don't have a leak, that you're not losing your energy, is slow down, take a couple of breaths. Um, I love mantras. I really do. I love meditation. Meditation is the best meditation. Uh, it doesn't have to be something hard. Yeah, even and a five-minute one. Even a gratitude is good. Just Someone to take to the bridge, and the person changes. Our body changes. Our face changes. I don't even know if it's so new with that. So I feel that there are many techniques, uh, little things that we can do. Uh, I would say something that Dr. Jody Spencer says. Dr. Jody Spencer says, "It's not enough to move. We have to know." It's not enough to you know, know, it's to you know how. Like, I to can, know how. To give me an example. Like, for example, is that really the things are really good. And you say, yes, I agree. Many of the things I have heard that they are really good. Yes. The how are really practice. How often? How much really do I require to regulate myself? Am I doing it every day? And that's when the discipline come, self discipline. I'm not waiting for someone to tell me, you can yell at me, you are kind of being <laughs> not so nice to me. But it's like bringing that awareness and feeling when you say that I do that, you know, I call it putting myself in time. <laughs> because sometimes Put yourself life, in time. life is busy yeah, yeah. and crazy. And, People get needy, get kids, little kids, my kids are grown. But when my kids were little, I used to tell my kids, I'm going to get money in time now. And they would look at me and say, well, you didn't do anything wrong. I, said, <laughs> I need it before I do something with what I'm feeling. And I feel that that is so, uh, it's so much justice. Like I can, I can go into that space and take I, it. I also used to put myself in time out with the kids, raising the boys instead of, um, because I, I, I don't remember if I read it in a parenting book 
book or something. Because when they would fight or do something, it's to get your attention. And so I would say, I'm going to time out because your behavior doesn't deserve my attention. You know, I wouldn't say that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's why I was doing it to, to live kind of crazy. And they'd be pounding on the door, why are we real? <laughs> I feel that Not that's, that's so fair. Even if you work, you know, many people, they work in offices that a lot of people are huge. And you have that privacy. Take a time out in the garden. Go, take a couple of bread. Um, you know, maybe it's standing. It's really good because it brings that sense of groundedness. That you can feel the feet on the ground. And you can allow and welcome that mother energy to your body. And you can really be like not placing my hands on the body. Because this means I am here for you. I am here for you. And I can feel that touch, gentle touch in my heart as a, as a gesture. You know, it doesn't matter what I'm feeling. Or how can I do for you? Because it's all for you. Yeah, and they say that's why a lot of people are addicted to smoking too. Not just because of it. They get taking, mm -hmm. It's taking a breath. They're stopping and taking a breath. Right. It's that space. It's that yeah. space and you can work. And that's the only way to self regulate, right? You create a new space. And that's what it's the beauty of yoga because you create that space. Oh, the space well between the, the, the mass of the grid, the space between the joints, you create a space where you can talk, you create a space, and you create a space where you can go and that. It's like I'm doing it for myself. You know, that's something that I say in class often. Give yourself the taking the time to do so, some self love and care. And, and it doesn't require much, you know, when they you really have that time to go to that seven and five minutes or six minutes class, and you might find a place where you can take a couple of breaths in your mind that you can be feeling and nurturing a, a space in you that is full of love and peace. Nurture it. Because you, if it's leaking, <laughs> I go back to the leaking, the leaking, the leaking, the leaking. It sounds like she's saying leaking. I love, I love Gloria's <laughs> accent. It's so ah, beautiful, and her yeah. English is so good. Yeah. I, yeah. I never tease you, but I love. Oh, I, love, it. Words, I, love it. I feel that we you know, make up some good words together. Definitely, definitely. And, and you know, when I don't find the words, I make new words. <laughs> and there is no rules in copyright. Yes. There is no rules in. in <laughs> Peace and loving ourselves. I feel that you know that the the limited mind makes our heart really constricted and limited and, and, and like like eating and opening our heart, allowing ourselves to breathe. So breath is I would say that breath and maybe if if, if there's some space some movement, you know. A little stretch here and there is gonna open the tissues and it's gonna bring more blood and oxygen into the mind and heart. I feel that everything that we do with the intention of love and with the consciousness of being in presence, I feel that we are right on. Now you're giving me the God bombs. <laughs> so <laughs> everyone, do you agree? Doing consciously intentionally doing everything with love, including picking up your socks and doing your laundry and wiping the counter. And when you know that everything is energy, I mean, you guys might think I'm cuckoo, and that's okay, because I wave my freak flag every day. But seriously, when you wipe your table, when you wipe the wall, and you sit in the chair, you say, I love you, thank you. I love you, thank you, you're clean. Just love everything with the intention of love. And before you go somewhere, before you make a phone call, Hawaii or, you know, Shadi uh, Shada, Shada Shada, or Shanti, Shanti, you say these things and you're like giving blessings. And it's love. A yeah, it's a vibration. It's energy. Everything's energy. So it's very powerful. And when we get to the self love part, one of my favorite tips to give for self love 
is to look at yourself in the mirror right in your own eyes and say, I love you. And a lot of people, it's I not easy, easy for people, it was, right? It was so difficult for me to, to say I love you in the mirror. I could say it if I wasn't looking in the mirror. When I started Ooh. looking myself in the mirror, I was like, oh, so hesitant. And, 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 and I could feel a weight in my heart. And in getting used to it, it's part of it. Because we were not taught how to love ourselves. You know, it, I always feel, in a, in, in, in a come from, from Colombia, and in my country uh, growing up, you know, I'm the number eight, a number eight is I, I'm, I'm, I'm the last one from eight kids. Whoa, you're so the, I'm the youngest, I'm the number eight. And, and growing in my house, it was always easy because my sister and the work, mostly girls, there was only one boy. And it was go, 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 do, do, do. Wow, and one, one boy at one point. He must be a good man. He's an, he's an amazing man. He's a, a to have all those women around him yeah, all his life. He's a, he's a wonderful man. This is amazing. amazing. <laughs> that masculine energy was there. And he was really good at holding together with all this feminine energy, all yeah. this chucky <laughs> energy going in our house. But you know, going back to that is um, keeping the essence with Salal going on is challenging. And you lose yourself in the doing. And you forget very easily. And I have to tell you, we get distracted so easily that being in that state of doing is challenging. And every time we practice, it becomes a little easier. And like at that door, and I had this idea one time ago. I turned like the the door of healing open opens for me. So when I don't allow healing in my life, I know I am in the way into that space because you know our fears, our unconscious mind is so much information that we don't even know what's in. Uh, so there are so many things that are closely with the same path. And I call it changing the names. <laughs> I'm changing the lanes of being unconscious to the lanes of being conscious and open to, to notice and to embrace in order to transform into something else. Going back, self revelation, really. Being in the moment, check out, you know, when you, when you notice. I love to say, Gloria, you are not in play. You are not here and now. And I give myself that. We will lose our sense of being in the moment. It's not, it's not a sin to do that. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. it. So we just know, I always say, go ahead and grab consciousness by the tail. <laughs> Rather than bring it back, it's all yours. It's so serious. serious. So it's little things. And self-love, um, I have to tell you, writing, journaling, oh, yeah. is Gratitude being journal. powerful. I started this journey, journey in 2000, it's been 20 years, and I started writing back then. And I love to do what I wrote back then. Wow. And see, all these lies, you know, that's in, in yoga we call it Maya, illusion, the idea of who we are. And as we start losing those layers, it's so shiny, and you start really giving yourself a hug because it's what it is. Whatever it is right now is what it is. And if we embrace it, we only have one opportunity to transform into something else. <laughs> yes, I agree. I agree. It resonates with me so well. What do you, everyone listening, do you agree? Does it <laughs> resonate with you? And I want to talk about the last one, the discipline. 
self-discipline. Self-discipline. And self-discipline is one of those things that I would need to be careful with it because we do self-sabotage. Yeah. And that's big. When we start making goals that are so big that unconsciously we know we are not going to commit to it. And we do not commit unconsciously and we just keep it in. We just in the same place. So for me, I feel and I know that if I do a step, that I can go there. Seriously, it's just new things for me. I remember when I was depressed, waking up, waking up in the morning um, and, and wondering why am I alive? Like, why? Why am I alive? Why am I here? What is the purpose of this? I'm waking every day and now I'm going to do the same thing over and over. And for me, it was the little thing that opened the eyes and I said, thank you. I feel, you know, Kofunopono is an amazing uh, technique. Uh, if you can write it to, to you guys that are listening, Kofunopono is a Hawaiian technique to, to erase the unconscious without knowing exactly what is there. We can reprogram. Somebody asked me the other day, so what do you do? And I said, I'm a program. <laughs> and so, so the guy said, are you 90? I'm programming my, my, my heart again, my programming my, my the system, which is here in the moment and now, and in a way I can be fit by that new way instead of being, you know, consciously do my choices from, from the back of my head. Well, it's pretty interesting. And, and so, little goals, little things that you can do every day, like an Ayurveda, uh, you know, I do Ayurveda consultations. And, and I like to give my clients little things to do. Yeah. Instead of giving them a whole uh, a, a program, like do this and do this and do this. If they're not doing many things when it comes to self-love and self-care, it's only one thing, committing one thing. And we'll do that until it becomes a habit. And it's the habit of loving, giving back to you. And it's so beautiful because that's one of the, the spiritual laws of success. You know, and, 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 and how do you define what success means to you? But for me, if I can keep in my pain and peace and love, I'm very successful. I love that. I'm very successful. And, I, I and, I, and, and, that's, and that doesn't come from anyone. Yeah. No one comes and tells me, you are so, I, I'm, I'm just, I feel so, I am that. Yeah. And it's as simple, I am that. I am peace and harmony. I, I am love. love. I am love. <laughs> I am. Yeah. So, I am discipline body. is little things every day that are dedicated to you, giving back to you. And, and my advice, be curious. What's going on here? I'm super curious. A curious word, isn't it? <laughs> Be super curious. What is it that you're thinking? And when you're thinking, you notice know, what how you react to your thinking. Is that making your body feel good or what? Oh my God. This, 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 uh, these two have a beautiful and amazing relationship. And that's one changing your words. It's great, however, mind in heart of Yes. It has to be in, in harmony. Yes, I love right? It. Yeah, I love that you said that. Being yeah. with the mind and the heart together is a moving meditation. That is beautiful for it. I mean, because people worry, or, or not worry, they're concerned that they're not able to meditate. Everything is a moving meditation. When walking through the nature, is a meditation in some way, you know? There is a small book that I use in my teacher training in the 200 level, and it's called The Miracle of the Mountain. You remember that? <laughs> it's a small, 
very easy group to breathe, but it's not so much for the breathing as the breath. The small little thing is watching the dishes. If I'm, I'm watching the dishes, dishes, I am just watching the dishes. But, you know, I have found myself watching the dishes and thinking about a million things yeah. but the dishes. Yeah, and then we just grab it by the yeah. tail, bring yes. it back. Yeah. I'm here, I'm washing the dishes. I'm, I am so grateful that I just have been here and I get to wash my dishes. I know that kind of thing. I know because I'm so bad for like, I'm getting better at it. I'll be brushing my teeth and doing washing my hair and doing like 10 things at once. And I'm like, okay, wait a minute, I'm not in the presence of what I want to do. And let me check my. <laughs> I used to be proud saying that I was multi, <laughs> ma, multitasking. And then Me I too. realized I was not multitasking. I was totally unconscious. Yeah, yeah. No, unconscious. That's right. That's perfect. <laughs> you know, doing a million things and not getting things done with presence and just doing it. And, and it's all good. You know, for me, uh, this is the path of love. This is the path of um, realizing self. And that's what any path, it doesn't, not only yoga or you know, anything that you do is for the self, to the self. It's, it's everything and if you do, if you if I came to the room and I'm um, walking on this earth with love, and I'm really completely to that vibration that is always moving, nothing stops. I will experience 
because it's, it's, it's this, this em, embracement and confining that you will feel the same. So I always tell my students, if you spend the whole day really and running and, <laughs> and, and doing million things, and then you come home at eight years, I'm going to meditate, I'm going to meditate, and you say, I have to be peaceful, is that I have to be peaceful? That's not going to help you, please. Start by breathing, slowing down, slow your sympathetic nervous system that invite the relaxation response. You know, like changing, you know, doing all this. You know, it's to stimulate the vagus nerve. In the vagus nerve, the nerve that that, 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 that manages the parasympathetic nervous system, our relaxation response. If we breathe, that's our relaxation response. And if we start closing our like I like to put it down your thoughts to say meditation because it's one less thing that I'm not connected to the outside. Yeah. Or put a you know, cover your eyes and cover your eyes. And things like that. You start like narrowing the sensation from the outside. It's gonna be much easier to say in this meditation. So we will end on that note. To be continued, we'll do another podcast. Beautiful. And, and, to, and we'll do some breathing techniques and more. Um, please share everyone with everyone your website, how to find you. You can find Gloria through positive <laughs> I'm impact. still working on it. I'm finding myself. Oh, <laughs> I am busy. So I'm Gloria. Gloria Peace is R U I C. You will find me as Shanti is H. A N T I Art Yoga dot com. We are we have a, a retreat center in Odessa. We have about acres with a beautiful lake, and we have our little shower there where we do programs and we train teachers. I have group classes. I'm a yoga therapist myself. I train teachers in a life coach, a holistic life coach. Uh, based on Ayurveda um, science. So you, you can find me. Um, um, I have my website, Facebook, Instagram. Um, I would love to support you. Um, little steps, yeah. little steps in the divine trust into ourselves. And, and I, I know that it works. And we'll share her links too with everyone. We'll announce the next time we're on. And God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So much for Thank you. Thank you, everyone. We'll see you soon. Have a beautiful day.